as Gabe's usual disclaimer on that side, if you are feeling any pain, if there's any discomfort sort of during the session that you feel is too much, please do give yourself a break, give yourself an opportunity. I can't see you, so you are following along from my side. I will give several demonstrations about difficulties uh, making it sort of an easy and a harder version for everyone on that side. But if you're all good to go, all you need is your body weight, a little bit of space to move around, and we'll start off with a bit of a warm. So I'm going to start with your usual nice high knees. I'm going to bring them up, bring them up as high as possible, trying to get them up towards your chest if you can. And then we're going to start to bring that into a little bit of a jog in about 10 seconds. And we're going to do that for another 30 afterwards. Give you a bit of a rest. So ready? Three, two, one. And then you're going to start on the spot. Nice high knees. Get them up. Keep them going. You can keep your arms down for this one if you've followed before. From there, get those knees up nice and high. Let's warm you up. So we're going to keep going. Another 15 seconds. Another 10 seconds. Keep going. Five seconds left. Keep those knees nice and high. Don't let them sink. Three, two, one. And then come back to just that rest. But keep your knees going the entire time. Keep them working, lifting up. Good. Nice high steps. Keep them up nice and tall. This time we're then going to add in your arms. We're going to get them working as well. Okay. So you're going to punch up with each arm as you step this time. Okay, we're gonna go three, two, one, and arms up. So each time you step, nice high knees, get those arms reaching up as high as possible. Get that heart rate working. Good, another 15 seconds. Keep those knees working, keep those knees working up nice and high. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Keep those knees working nice and high. Bring those arms down. Give yourself a little bit of rest and we've got one more to go. Keep those knees up nice and high the entire time. Try not to stop if you can. If you do need to break, please do so. Give yourself a little bit of a rest. Good. And we're going to go again. In four, three, two, and one. Arms and legs. Nice and high. Bring them up. Keep them working the entire time. Nice high arms and legs. Keep them up working. Knees up past your waist. Bring them up to at least parallel if possible. We don't want little arms like this. Keep them up nice and high all the time. 10 seconds. Keep those arms working up nice and high, reaching. Three, two, one, and come to a rest. Just walk that up. Give yourself a little bit of a chance to calm things down. And we're going to move on to our first round of exercises. So we're going to do a bit of a squat if you've watched me first, because it's a bit to this. So I'm going to turn to the side to start with. From that position, you're going to start with your feet a little bit wider apart than normal. Rather than narrow starts, you're going to come a little bit wider. You're going to squat down as low as you can. So from that position, you're going to squat down. You're going to hold. And you're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. And then you're just going to pulse up and down for five repetitions. And then you're going to stand. Okay? From that side, that is the hardest version that I want to go through. Of that side. If you want to make it a little bit easier, you either don't hold the pulse after you've done the hold for five seconds, stand back up, or don't quite squat down as low as, as much as I do on that side. Just give yourself a little bit of a break. If you want a chair behind you, in case you feel unsteady, by all means. Okay? So we are going to start. I'm going to come down, and we're going to try and do it in time with me. So from that position, you're going to come down, and you're going to hold. Five. Four, three, two, one, and then pulse. Four, three, two, one, up. So 
down. Five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Three more to do. You're going to come down. You're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, up. Two more to do. Down and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Last one, guys. So again, if you want to stay just holding that position at the bottom, give that a go. You can follow on. So we're going to go down and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. Two, three, four, five, and up. Give your legs a bit of a shake. You should be starting to feel that into your quads by now. A little bit of lactic build up. We're going to give them an opportunity to drain away. So you're going to have a lie on your back. You're going to come down. And we're going to do our dead bugs. And some of you will probably already know this. But you're going to lie flat on your back. You're going to squash your lower back down into the floor. So you shouldn't be able to get your arm underneath your back. But squash that lower back down so that your hand can't fit underneath. You can put your hands out to the side or down by your side. That is the easier version. That'll be harder. And then the really hard version would be arms up in front of you. Okay. Arms up there. Keep that lower back squashed down. You're going to bring both legs up to 90 degree position. Squash that lower back down. Keep that down the entire time. And then you're going to lower your leg down to the floor and back up. So even in that position, down there, you see that I can't get my hand under my back. My foot's not resting, but I've got my lower back squashed down in the floor. And you should be starting to feel that around here. So we're going to go for 10 repetitions. That's five on each side. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, Keep that back squashed down the entire time. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then come to a rest. Give yourself a little bit of rest there. Just let your legs drop a little bit. Start to feel that down into my quads. And then you're going to come back up into that position. Similar thing. Hands out to the side this time. You're going to start there, and then this time you're going to drop your knees down to the side as far as possible. Try not to let them rest onto the floor so you're not twisting around. This hand's not coming off the floor because it stays down the entire time. And the easier version, feet down on the floor. You're just going to drop your knees down to the side with your feet resting, okay? So five each side from here. Knees off the floor, feet off the floor. And we're going to go down to the right. And then all the way to the left. Keep those hands down on the floor. Keep your back down, your upper back down on the floor. Don't let your knees rest on the bottom. Get that three, four, five, five more, six, seven. Eight, nine, and last one over to the left, and ten. Bring them back, and then rest down. Have a stand back up. We're going to go straight back into the squats. Okay, so again, similar thing. If you want to try the harder version now, please do so. All right, but the easy version, just coming down and holding. Don't worry about the pulse. Okay. Or like I said, just reduce the amount that you squat so it might only be to here rather than all the way down into that position. Okay? Everyone ready? Well, I can't hear you. So three, two, one, and down. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. And pulse. One, two, three, four, five. And up. And again. Down, one, two, 
three, four, five, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, up. Three more. Down and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Bounce. One, two, three, four, five, up. Two more. Down. One, two, three, four, five. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, up. Last one. And down. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. And pulse. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Give those legs a little bit of shake. I'm just going just make sure my timer still works on that side. There we go, back onto your back. So have a lie down, have that bit of a rest. Okay, bring those legs up, arms up if you can. Easier version out to the side, easiest version, hands down by your side or just under your buttocks. If you're not able to get down to the floor with your back squash. Okay, so from there, arms up in front, knees up, back squash down. Make sure you can't get that hand underneath the back. Okay, from there, you're gonna go down to the floor. One, two, and again, make sure that that back stays squashed down and you can't fit your hand under your back the entire time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. If you can, keep your hands there. Keep your legs there, sorry. You're going to bring your hands up to the side. If you need to rest down, that's fine. Give you a bit of a chance. And then you're going to go down to the right. So knees dropping down as far as you can go. And then back to the other side. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten, bring them back, and rest. Put those legs down, give them a bit of a shake if you need to. Have a stand up. I'll give you a short 30 second break and we'll go into the last set. Get a little bit warm in this. So, 20 seconds to go. Grab yourself some water, grab yourself a drink if you need. Have a little bit of a rest and a bit of a breather. Shake your legs out if you need them to. We're going to go in 10 seconds. Five seconds. And if you haven't, start making your way back. Three, two, one, and into your squats, you're going to come down and hold. One, two, three, four, five, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, and up. And down, hold. One, two, three, four, five, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Down, hold. One, Two, three, four, five, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Up, two more, guys. Keep going. Down and hold. One, two, three, four, five, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Up, last one. Ready? And down. We're going to hold. One, two, three, four, five, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, up. And give your legs a shake off. Should be starting to feel that burn into those quads now, especially on that last set. Okay. When you're ready, come down onto your back. Last set of our dead bugs. We're gonna try now for those that are finding that way too easy. We're gonna bring your arms in as well. Okay, 
So again, easy version, hand down by the side, just under your back because that helps to squash your lower back down into the floor. Out to the side, medium version, arms up if possible. And then for those that want to challenge, you can start to swing your arms in as well. So bring those legs up, back squashed into the floor. You're now going to do your opposite arm and legs. So if you do your right leg, your left arm goes down. And in this position, again, I still want lower back squashed into the floor, keeping that position. Don't let it arch up so that your hands end up staying underneath your back. Squash that position and bring it back up. Okay, so 10 repetitions. Ready? And go. One, two, three. If the arms are too much and you find that you're lifting up, just bring them back to the middle. Just do the legs. And that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And rest. Again, if you can, bring your legs straight back up, put them back up into the air, and we're gonna drop down to the side straight away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and rest. Relax. Give those legs a little bit of a shake. Help yourself to stand back up. Grab yourself some water. And we'll go through three brand new exercises. So, again, you get to lie on the floor for these ones, so they're nice and easy. I will demonstrate first, I'll do it facing you guys to begin with, so that you can see what I'm doing. So you're gonna have a lie down on your front, head down on the floor, arms out in front of you. So you're in a nice, long, straight position. With this, guys, you will need to make sure that you've got enough space to move your arms. Okay, so head down on the floor. Don't lift it up, or don't hold it off the floor. You'll start to feel this in your lower back otherwise. I don't want that, I want it to be in your upper back, up in your shoulders. That's where you should be feeling this. So, head down on the floor. You're then gonna lift your arms up. You're gonna hold them there for two seconds. Two. You're gonna go out to the side for two. And then we're gonna come into the W position for another two. And you're gonna go back straight down in front. And that's one repetition. Okay, so I'm gonna do it from the side so my head's resting on the mat. But follow along, so nice straight position, nice wide position, nice W position. At the end, two seconds of each, okay? So face down, head on the floor, arms in front, and lift just your arms up, legs stay flat, so lift up and hold for one, two, one, two, W, one, two, back to the eye, one, Two, T position, one, two, W, one, two, I, one, two, T, one, two, W, one, two, and that's three reps. I, one, two, T, one, two, W, one, two, Last repetition, guys. I, one, two. Keep those hands off the floor as high as possible. T, one, two, W, one, two, and relax. Down into that. You should be feeling that up in shoulders between the shoulder blades, not the lower back. Like I said, if you're feeling it in the lower back, make sure your head's resting on the floor. Okay, we're gonna move now straight into a lower back exercise. So. From here, you can see my position. From that, so keeping yourself there, you're gonna bring your hands behind your back. This is the easy version from here. And you're gonna lift your chest up off the floor and hold that there for five. That's the easy version. Hands to the top of your head, just resting fingertips on the back of your head would be the harder version. That's increasing the weight so your arms 
adding extra. And then last one, if you really want to go for it, you lift your feet up off the floor. Well, so you look like a banana shape. Okay, from there, so into that position, like I said, easy version, hands across your sacrum, lifting up, medium version, hands behind your head, lifting up, harder version, feet off the floor as well. Okay, so from there, five seconds of each, five times when we're ready in three, two, one, and lift up. We're going to hold five, four, three, two, one, and rest. And then again, five, four, three, two, one, down. And again, up, one, two, three, four, five, down. Two more. And again, up, one, two, Three, four, five, down, and last one. Ready, and up. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Rest. Cool. I'm just going to quickly just touch my timer. You can see how we've got. Okay. And the last exercise, back into your push-up or press-up position on that side. So nice straight arms, nice straight legs, hands underneath your shoulders, feet about shoulder width apart, so not too narrow in this one, but a little bit wider. Okay, so I'm going to come and face you to begin with, show you how it's done. So from there, into that position, feet up, shoulder width apart, and then from here, you're going to touch the opposite shoulder with one hand. So from there, you're going to touch over. Now I don't want what I've just done there. And that big shift, and I want you to stay nice and steady, nice and stable. Touch that shoulder without moving your weight too much over to the side. Now, that in itself is quite a challenge. The easier version would be to bring your hands closer together. And it sounds strange, but because there is your center of balance, it makes it a little bit easier without you having to shift your weight over. Okay, so that becomes the point that you balance on. And then if that is too hard, similar thing, but on your knees, so from there, you're still going to touch up without shifting, because what most people will do is that. So trying to push the floor away. Okay, so we're going to do five on each side in that position. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Ooh, that should be quite hard, not only on your trunk, but on your shoulders as well. So we're going to go back into the first exercise again. Go straight down into your I, T, Ws. Okay. Ready? Arms um, in front, flat on the floor. Again, try to lift these up as high as possible. The higher you lift, the harder it is on this one. So three, two, one, and lift. Two, T, one, two, W, one, two, I, one, two, T, one, two, W, one, two, I, one, two, T, one, two, W, one, two, that's three guys. I, one, two, T, one, two, W, one, two, last one. I, one, two, T, one, two, W, one, two, relax. So again, now into your dorsal raises. So, easy version, hands on your back, hands on your sacrum, just above your buttocks. Harder version, hands by your head. Hardest version, feet up off the floor as well. And we're gonna go in three, two, one, lift. One, two, three, four, five, relax. And up, one, two, three, four, five, relax. Three more. Up. 
One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Two more. Up. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. And up. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. And then when you're ready, straight into your press ups. So we're going to go and come up. Press up position. And again, hands close together makes it a little bit easier. Shoulder width apart is your hard version. And again, if you need to, come down onto your knees and do it. And we're going to go in three, two, one, hand to shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Last set, guys, and we're just getting to the end, so I think we'll time it perfectly. So your last set, and then you're free to go. So, down onto the floor, I, TWs, again. So, stand into there, arms out in front, and you're going to lift up. Three, two, one, up, I, one, two, T, one, two, W, one, two, I, one, two, T, one, two, W, one, two, I, one, two, T, one, two, W, one, two, two more, I, one, two, T, one, two, W, one, two, last one, I, one, two, T, one, two, W, one, two, relax. Ooh. Straight into our dorsal raises. So everyone's ready. I'm going to give you three seconds, two seconds, one second, and lift up. One, two, three, four, five, down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, down. Three more. And up. One, two, three, four, five. Down. Two more. And up. One, two, three, four, five. Down. Last one. And up. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Into your press up position or your push up position for the last exercise. And then we're just going to do a little bit of a cool down, a little bit of a stretch for your shoulders afterwards. So, back into that. I'll come facing you again. Try and do it in time with me. Try not to make it too quick. But if it does need to be that little bit quicker, that is okay. We're just aiming to do it as slow as possible. So up into that press-up position. Feet shoulder width apart. Hands under your shoulders. And then from there, lift and down. Lift and down. Lift. Down. Four. A little bit of a shift over there for me. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll just fall on the last one. Oh. Right. And that's it. Rest there. So we're just going to go a little bit of a cool down for your shoulders. Because again, because they've been worked pretty hard at the end, and possibly a little bit for your quads on that side. So we're just going to come into. Nice high walking again. And this time, I just want you to swing those arms up and around. Again, I'm just not walking on the spot just because but I've got the space to do that. But if you need to walk on the spot because you don't have the space, just up and down. And then the other way. And then just make those circles a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, and then you just come to a stop with your arms and with your legs, and just rest down. 
you know, bring your hands across your body and just give it a little bit of a pull as you should feel that across the front of your shoulder there or the back of your shoulder if you're anatomically correct. And then across the other way. A little bit of a stretch. It doesn't have to be long. This is just to give it a little bit of relief. We're not looking at balance in terms of flexibility. So just give yourself a bit of a pull. Give it a bit of break. Use the other hand to help out on that area behind your head. Just give yourself a bit of a stretch behind. So your hand comes down and back. And just use the other hand to give it a little bit of a push. It doesn't have to be hard. You could just feel down that stretch down the tricep. Or possibly over the back of the shoulder as well. Just give yourself a little bit of a relief. And then a bit of a hug. Just arms across your body. Alternate which one's on top. Just give yourself a bit of a stretch across the upper back. And then last exercise for your upper, or last stretch for your upper body, just hands together. And push yourselves forward so you go around your upper back as much as you can. And relax off. And then again, and push forwards. And relax off. And last one. Just push forwards, round that upper back as much as possible. And relax off. And now just give you your quads a little bit of a stretch. So if you need to, you can hold on to something. I'm just going to use our foam rolls just because we've got half of them handy. handy. Use the back of a chair. You can use anything that you're looking for. Just come up, give yourself a bit of a stretch in the front of your quad. And relax off. And the same on the other side. Bit of a stretch on that side. Try not to make sure your legs are in this position. That you're pulling back. And you should feel that down the front of your quad. You can see my knees are almost touching together. Fortunately, I can't get them too close. And relax. And then the other side, just pull. Again, the last one on that. Just to give them a bit of a stretch from the quads. And you're done.